Welcome to Core Cross. I'm really excited to introduce you to the 30 minute format. This is a condensed version of our regular 60 minute class. So Core Cross is what it says it is. It's a cross training class. We get a total body workout, but we focus on how we authentically engage the core to improve the outcome and efficiency of each exercise we do. Because you're training at home, I've got a workout for you that you can do in a small space with no equipment. But if you do have some dumbbells, you can definitely uh, use those and I'll show you when and where. Alrighty, let's start with our warm up team. Before we do that, we need to work out how to engage our core in a real way. Lengthen our body as tall as you can. Resist the temptation to crunch or flex those outside muscles, those abdominal muscles. Be tall, narrow the waist. And the two bones you sit on, your sitting bones, there's muscle between those bones. Think about lifting that muscle up inside your body. Tall, narrow, lifting up through the pelvic floor. Let's get started. A little squat jack. So our goal is to keep that core connected all through our class. It's my job to keep reminding you. Let's roll the shoulders around. Beautiful work. One up, one down, pull behind the ear, pull behind the hip. Other side. Beautiful. So one of the things that sets core cross apart from other classes is this great way we warm up. Activating the muscles we're about to use and mobilizing our joints. Nice. Hands are down. Let's turn it to a girl. A little light stretch on the front of the leg and mobilizing the knee. Are you still tall and lifted? Let's add a little twist through that. No good. Bring your shoulder towards the front and your heart rotating side to side. Four, three, two, one. Let's take one foot back. We're gonna push, lean on the back leg, then push up and down. So we're mobilizing the ankle, activating the calf muscle. That's it. All right, we're gonna add on team. Up and down, shoot to your knee. Rotate out to mobilize the hip and push back to activate the glute. Bring it in, heel down, and lengthen the hamstring. Rotate, press back, in and forward. Rotate back, in and forward. Pull tall and strong through that supporting side. Long and lengthen through the waist. We do one more. That's the way. All right, bring the knee up. Circle around. Going clockwise. Feel the glute activate. And working the muscles in the outside of the hip. Let's wake them up for our workout. One more. Back to our little squat tuck. No good. Now roll the shoulders around. Feel your shoulder blades slide around your rib cage. We want to be aware of those muscles and those shoulder blades, especially when we pick up weights or if we're in a support position. One more. Nice. Let's take the other foot back. Lean on that back leg. Push up and down. Your ankle working like a hinge. Push long and open the front of the ankle. Good. One more. Bring a shoe to your knee. Tall in the body. Rotate out, extend back. Mobilize the hip, activate the glute. Bring the heel down and lengthen the hamstrings. Rotate and back. In and lengthen. Awesome. Can you still feel that deep connection through the core? Shoulders wide. Beautiful, we've got three to go. All right, we're going to do one more. Well done. Bring it all the way up. And this time we rotate anti-clockwise. Be tall through the supporting leg. Good, and one more. All around. Let's take the feet wide. Bend one knee, slide the hips back, maintain the connection to the core. Slide through to the other side. Slide across. Take the opposite hand towards your knee. So we'll see a move like this in our workout today. Beautiful. If you can, take the handle lower towards your shoe. 
for only the way to keep you comfortable working. That's the way. One more each side. Now we're going to turn. Open out the front of the hip as you drop down and come up. Open out the front of the hip as you drop down. Reach high. Good. One more. Let's go through the middle. Rotate around. Open the front of the hip. And open. Be long and tall in the body. Core engage. Reach. One more. All right, turn the knees out, rotate one forward, and then the other side. Good, finish it off. All right, ready for our workout that's coming. We're going to learn two exercises and do those at a time. We're going to learn our second exercise first. All right, now you've got options in all the exercises. Hands on your shoulders. Knees under your hips. We're going to extend the right arm, take the left toes out to the corner. Bring it down and alternate side. Arms straight ahead, toes to the corner. If you feel happy with that, you're more of a challenge, squeeze the hips, come forward. Same move, opposite arm and leg. You can take it right out to the toes. And here is if you want your dumbbells, take a bit more. Challenging. All right, so remember that's our second exercise. Let's take a look at our first one. We're going to start, step, tap back. Wide step, tap back. If you feel ready, make it a leap and a bit of a longer tap. For those of you who are feeling athletic, let's leap and lunge. All right, team. 50 seconds. Are we ready? Let's go. Now I'm just going to keep alternating through those options so that you can remember what they are. Take the option that you're comfortable with. Now be mindful of this leg. It's going to want to cross over. Resist that. Draw back in line with the hip. Push wide and drop low. Core long and lengthen. Draw up through the pelvic floor. That core engagement will help you float side to side. Three, two, and one. Exercise two. Ten seconds to transition. All right, set. Right on, let's go. Remember, I'll show you all options again. Take the option you're happy with. Now here, your hips are going to want to rock side to side. Our job is to keep them as still as possible. Give your shoulder blades sliding down your back to stabilize your body. Three, two, and one. Ten seconds of transition. Back to number one. That's one round done. Two to go. We're now good core lengthen. When your core is well engaged, you feel controlled and coordinated as you go from side to side and change direction. Without that, you feel a bit uncoordinated and out of control. Stretch the 
while you're here, what I'm going to do is keep your waist long and draw up through the front. Shoulder blades, slide down the back. Dumbbells, if you want them, whichever level you want to go to. We're nearly there. Ten seconds. All right. Now we go. Third round. Set and go. All right. This is my last time we're going to be here. Can we do something special? If you're feeling that leg, can you get this front leg to go horizontal? Then drive as far as you can. But if you need to catch your breath, come on, just move. It doesn't matter which option, and stay focused here. Alright, we're in our last few seconds, go, go. Alright, down to the mat. Last one, set, and go. All the options that you like. Now if you drop up to the pelvic floor, the hips are less likely to rock. Rotate the rim around 
as you reach for the ropes. Is it coming up? Three, two, and one. Ten seconds onto the mat. Feet together, knees apart. We know we're going to go And let's go. Extend the hips as much as you can at the top. Be mindful that we're using the glutes and resist the temptation to push with the low back. Time to check our posture. Have a look. Have you got your knees tilted to one side? Bring that up so it's even. Now feel an even squeeze between your glutes. If you want to do the challenge, just come three quarters of the way down so we keep some of that tension right there. We go with our dumbbells. We're about three, two, and one. Ten seconds to transition. With or without the weight. Set. Ready. Let's go. Knee. To the floor. With or without the jump. With or without the dumbbells. Now that we're warm, start to push your range a little bit further, a wider step, slide your hips back a little further. Love your work. I love this exercise. Every muscle in the body having to work together. A full integrated exercise. Three, two, and one. Mat time. Knees apart. All right, let's go. Now, three quarters if you want that feel, or all the way down. If you're coming all the way, check. Are you landing? Even on both sides of your hips, or is one side landing before the other? Let's see if we can even that out. Long length of the core, draw up through the pelvic floor. But there's no abdominal tension here. Focus on length, from your armpits to your knees. 10 seconds. Three. Two and one. One more set. You're ready? Let's go. Grow tension. How does your core feel? It feels like you lengthen as you rotate and stand as tall as you can. Now when you jump, scoop your navel up behind your rib cage. That helps you get some elevation. Are you puffing? That's when the magic is happening. When we're uncomfortable. Wider now. Only 10 seconds to go. Alright, last time on that. Knees apart, feet together. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Deep core activity and pelvic floor connection. Three quarters if you want to keep the tension in your glutes to make it a bit harder. Calm back, strong glutes. This is where we want to do the work. 
It's important to be strong in those glutes. They're responsible for a lot of our leg actions. And when they're not strong, we get back pain. I don't want any of that. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll recover. You need to pause it. Pause it now. Catch your breath. All right. Last set. Last two. Now again, we're going to learn the second exercise first. We've got lots of options here. Start at the back of your mat or somewhere in the lounge room where you've marked a spot. No jump option. A big step. Walk back. Change your leading leg. Now, if you're ready, you can lift. You can take off with one and land with two. Or take off two, land two. Team, stop, look up. If you've got the space above you, we're going to add one up. If you've got no space up, then we add one down. Before we run back, check out one ball, one up. Or one ball and one low. Alright, that's our number two. Alright, let's have a look at our number one. It's a cracker. Like we call. Leaving the waist, hands not too close. Step them out. Shoulder blades slide down the back. Lower your elbows to the floor. Just for one, then we rotate. Reach to the sky. Bring it back down, shoulder, rib and hip. Turn all the at the same time. One down, one turn. And if you're ready for more, lengthen out the hips. Tap your elbows into your ribs. And rotate. If you're ready, you can go to the toes. Or push up from the toes. And rotate. For those of you who are brave, and have some dumbbells. All right, you on your knees or your toes. One down and up. One rotate. All right. So remember that's our one. Here's where we're going to start down. We know we got the dumbbells. Get set to go. In three, two, one. Here's your options. Long hit. All right, to the toes. With all without those dumbbells. Now feel your core here as you lower down, lengthen the waist, but as you push away, scoop the navel up into your body to help you lift. Long waist, scoop the navel up. Onto the mat. Round two. 
Walk it around. Drop. Reach. And rotate. Up. And over. Over the shin. Extend if you want to. I love that feeling. Open up the whole front of the body. Then extend out. One. And two. One more time on this side. Walk it around. Walk it down. Feel the core connect. Swing around a nice stretch of the back. Now up. Open the side of the body. Bring a stretch the glute. Then open up the hip and the abs. Now we stretch into the hamstrings. One and two. Let's do all that. On the other side, so first a little stretch into your heels, right into the back. Lots of jumping today, lots of good work. Right, I see you. Bring the sole of the push foot onto the thigh. Rotate. Long waist, pelvic floor lift. Rotate, stretch the back. Rotate. Lift over the top. Up and over the shin. Extend the leg if you want to. Touch your hand to side the hip a little. Or a lot. Squeeze the glute. Open up the front. Go down. Extend that leg out. Same hand. And other hand. And then back to where we started. Walk it around. Be tall in your body. Then onto the elbow. Reach and rotate. Up. And like a rainbow, pull the ribs up to the ceiling. Fan them out. Stretch into the glute. And into the hip. Activate the glute. Open up the front of the body. Oh, now we're One more time through on this side. This sequence here stretches just about every muscle we use today. Good. Feel your breath calm down. Let these stretches re energize your body. Long breath in. Feel your calm and energy return. Heel to the floor now. And a little rock forward and back. Nice, and let's just come up. Take the hands behind. Push down first. Open up the shoulders and extend back. And one of my favorites to finish. Feet out. Lean on the inside and drop the tailbone down. Push one shoulder in and push out against the leg. Alternate sides. Beautiful work. I know you worked hard at home today. What a cracker of a workout. Make sure you give us your feedback. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.